Hello, this is Jessica McKay with your Spirit Guide reading for February. Go ahead and connect inside, connect with yourself, with your Spirit Guides, and just ask which message is most appropriate for me today. Number one, number two, or number three, and you can choose more than one. So it might be all three that you choose. So whatever resonates, whatever you feel intuitively guided to choose. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck for this reading, which is the deck that I love. I use it for all of my email readings and the other readings that I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and just shuffle the cards and do this in real time. So if you were drawn to message number one, the message that comes up is the Page of Rods. And you see this figure shouting out, saying, I'm here to the world. And when I look at this card, I get the sense of you asking for what you need, asking for what you want, putting yourself out there in some way. Whereas maybe before you may have felt like it wasn't okay for you to do that, or um, you were worried that other people couldn't quite hear you. I feel that now this is your time to be able to do that. Um, and this is also, my sense is that this is about something that you want to do in the world. It has to do with your personal power, your feeling that you have the ability to move forward with something. Um, I also get a creative energy behind this, that there's something you're wanting to create, um, whether that's art or um, a story or writing, but there's, there's something that you want to create and you are lending your voice, your voice to this. Um, and the sense that I get with this too is that there's a very sweet energy about it where you are stepping out in the spirit of of faith with a beginner's mind not worrying so much about what people are going to think of you or how your gift is going to be received so you are just putting it out there and it's a very empowering thing to do. So that's the sense that I'm getting for you this month, that you are actively stepping forward. There's no more um, sense of hiding or feeling small around this. And I'm also getting a sense of if that this has to do with a bigger goal that you may have had and that you're just taking you're putting one foot in front of the other and you're doing one step at a time. Every day, just one little step at a time. You don't have to do everything all at once. Um, you're just doing one step at a time. And I, I feel that as I'm looking at this card and you see the progression of mountains. Um, and in the distance, it seems like the mountains are smaller and smaller. And so I, I feel as though you have come a long way and you're conquering the bigger mountains of your goals, of the actions that you want to take. And you're not afraid to ask for what you need. So that is this month's message, if you chose number one. So let's see, we're gonna shuffle. And if you were drawn to message number two, the card that comes up is the Three of Swords. And this card is typically about letting go letting go of something and going through a grieving process around that. Um, there's a sense of disappointment with this card of having been let down, having had expectations and having those expectations not work out or happen. And the message that I'm getting from Spirit Guides about this for you is that this is normal and this is part of life. So it's okay if you're feeling disappointed right now. It doesn't mean that you haven't done things correctly or that you aren't on your path or that you're failing at life. It doesn't mean any of those things. It just means that one particular dream that you had or one particular um, creation that you had in your mind uh, a thought you had about what things should be didn't work out. 
and that's that's okay and it's okay for you to grieve that to grieve the the loss of that dream you could still have the dream but it, it might be in another way just in another form um, than you were than you were thinking about and there are these teardrops here at the bottom and that's about you know letting yourself express the emotions don't just bottle things up and push them down and just get on with it you know keep calm and carry on and continue with life you don't have to do that you can feel the disappointment it's uncomfortable it's not pleasant but by allowing yourself to feel it it's going to move through a lot faster so whatever it is that you may be feeling sad about or lost about or disappointed this is temporary and it's just part of life there's you didn't do anything wrong that's what I keep hearing from your guides is you didn't do anything wrong this is part of the experience of living we come we have dreams about what we think our lives are going to be and sometimes those dreams don't manifest the way we think that they should and then we get the opportunity to let them go so that the grander greater reality of what's possible for you can can come can come to be so I've, I'm feeling a lot of promise with this even if you're watching this and you're saying well I don't feel disappointed does this mean something bad is gonna happen no no not at all this just means that you're going through a process somehow of letting go of something um, it may be easy for you you may not even be feeling that much remorse but there's a process going on inside you right now of letting go of something that you don't need anymore so things are going to start feeling um, like they're newer like there's more room to grow like something new is happening so there will be more space for that so that is message number two and we'll just shuffle these cards again so if you were drawn to message number three the card that comes up is the seven of cups and this is a card about decisions and choices and being able to focus on one thing at the expense of other things and a lot of times we're told to just choose one thing focus on one thing do one thing um, and I'm getting the sense that temporarily it's good to focus on one thing because you can only focus on one thing at a time true multitasking doesn't really exist um, but I, I'm also getting that it's okay for you to be interested in more than one thing. It's okay for you to have multiple roads and paths that you want to go down. And so um, I'm feeling like there's this sense of overwhelm that happens in your mind when you try to figure out what direction to take next. So I'm seeing you feeling as though everything is just jumbled up in your head and you, you don't really know which direction to go in and so nothing really changes or nothing moves the energy doesn't move um, so what I'm the message I'm getting is choose the thing that resonates with you today just choose that go inside go into your body and when you're making a decision see how it feels in your body imagine yourself if you're trying to choose between say three different kinds of jobs um, imagine what the first one feels like imagine it imagine doing that job and then see how your body feels if you feel tired and drained it means it this isn't really the right road for you it's not resonating with you if you feel excited um, if you feel energized that means that it's right and with this image I'm also noticing the that wizard like figure in the corner there and my sense is that there is that part of you that inner wizard that wisdom that knows the direction and all the confusion all the chatter all the um, 
the not knowing that we think is there is just an illusion that deep down you know what you want you know what to choose you know what feels good to you and you know what doesn't I'm getting the message that you have had enough experience to know that now so um, whatever action you decide you want to take do it with faith, with confidence in yourself, and with joy. So don't let yourself get overwhelmed. The overwhelm, as soon as you feel any kind of overwhelm, go inside, go within, meditate, and let that go because that's not the real reality of you. The reality of you is that you're actually very clear. You know what's best. Okay, well, those are this month's messages. I hope that they were helpful to you. If they were, please let me know, and I'll see you again next time.